Yeah, the salient did pretty well. I mean, they took a hell of a lot of pressure off of Moscow. And the Russians are well and truly back in the fight. 71% towards capitulation. Welcome back, Stalin. Manpower is growing nicely. What am I doing for supply? There's a shortage of motorized. Massive shortage of mechanized. Is that because I'm making another set of troops? No. Um, we're just short and mechanized, apparently. I'm not exporting as many guns to the Russians as I was. We have a lot of medium tanks and a lot of heavy tanks, so I think we can cut back our production of those. Although, actually, the heavy tanks, we are still upgrading units, aren't we? Actually. You say that. And yet. All of my regular forces are now tanks, and those are all colonials. We've upgraded our entire army to Kurosei Elite. I hadn't even realized that. Nice. Right, what else was I short on? Motorized. What's the w weird, darker part of Turkey? I suspect that's Canada. The dark bit of... Oh, Soviets, apparently. Attention. What are you guys doing? So, where have three of your units gone? Right, I'm going to let the Allies deal with that bit because I'm getting a little bit fed up of losing troops here. Oh, they got a cutoff here. Bugger. That's irritating because those were like super elite forces. That's what happens when you don't babysit your forces. Let's have you take this out. Bye. There's the advanced rocket artillery. So let's go and start building those instead. Did we ever get the motorized going? Mechanized going? We did. However, I suspect that we need to... Oh, no, we don't actually. I thought we'd have to start buying in a bunch of rubber, but apparently not. Apparently my excavation techs have really kicked in. Starting to lose some convoys, losing a few subs. Convoys. The Americans really just sailing around the home islands. I'm not surprised, they've been doing it all along. The Soviets have really pushed this back from the Urals. They've retaken Magnitogorsk. Yeah, the Soviets are doing good too. Marvellous. Bloody marvellous. Yeah, the encirclement of the Russians here is going to be scary, brutal, and also absolutely amazing if we pull it off. I'm fairly sure we will. It's just taken a bit longer than I expected. Um, let's give you the go-ahead again. See, why are you attacking sideways? You don't need to attack sideways there. I'm getting distracted for no reason. Making Turkey capitulate would be a huge boost. That's all of the artillery upgrades done. Could still get modern armor, but I'm trying. I don't know why I'm trying to do this without modern armor, but we could totally do this without modern armor. Écoutez. Guys aren't that far away from Archangel. Well, suddenly we're going to have a lot more supply problems around here, so I hope that Stalin's getting ready to build a bunch of roads. Because I feel like we may need them.
So we're leaving a couple of tanks back there because we just don't have the supply here in the south. And that's the Mountaineers now fully upgraded because apparently they weren't strong enough before. Let's get the uh, anti-tank infantry stuff. Not that we really need it seeing as we've got anti-tanks in basically everything. How bad is the supply here? It's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, we're going to be pushing it when we get down here, but then again, as long as we take the Istanbul straight, we can start shipping supplies in down here. Then we can basically have the entire Red Army facing east and roll up this pocket when they're out of supply. I wonder if the Soviets are needing more guns. What a silly question. I'm going to send them anyway. Uh, we'll send you 40,000. Should be enough for now. The next couple of days, 40,000 new guns. You're welcome. Kharkov has fallen. Belogorod's been taken. Hopefully we have some tanks going into here. Charlie. What's all the Turkey out of manpower yet? They've got to be. No, Turkey's actually weathering this storm surprisingly well. Croatia's halfway to capitulation, so somebody's attacking over there. Uh, no, it's just because they've lost Zara. Couple of convoys. Another submarine sunk, but I should have a surplus of subs. Or I could, of course, start building some more. No. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> we have a bunch of surplus subs. We're fine. I'll just keep on reinforcing. Who's again? Right, escorts. Don't really need those anymore, but never mind. We may need them if and when we attack Indonesia. Continue to avance. So Porsche is about to fall, probably. Or you could just not attack it and try and attack across this river, which isn't part of the objective. Actually, yes, it is. Well, I wish it wasn't. Let's make this the objective instead. Much better. Is this going to be known as Gaul's March to the Sea in the alternate history books? It might well be known as that in the alternate history. Or is this the actual history? Is this reality? Was Charles de Gaulle really just some Viking dude sitting at a computer saying, My armies go here! Uh, what's happened here? Guys! Oh, right. No, this is a pocket. Okay. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. It's just that you've done a stupid. This is not your objective. This is. 
That's what confused me. I was like, uh, have the Germans just pulled off some crazy pocket? No, actually, I have. Is this just real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. Though escape from reality. Okay, now their planes are really starting to realize, oh, you know what? We can find those aeroplanes that are causing us so much bother. Australia assumes responsibility for colonial holdings. In an attempt to stand up to the increased threat against British holdings in Southeast Asia, the territorial... Ooh, Malaya's capitulated. Wait, how's Malaya just capitulated? With the goal of being the Commonwealth's first and best line of defence in the Pacific, Australia assumes full responsibility for military and administrative preparations in the case of fighting the region. Or does that mean that Australia's just... Nope, that's still Malaya. I don't know how that's just happened. That's a little bit weird. God, we are so close. Equity. Sod. They're throwing a lot of troops at this point here to try and stop me. I don't think they're going to be able to. Oh no, we're hitting them down here as well. They can't hold me everywhere. I seem to be going the wrong way, however. I thought you were about to get this cut off here in a glorious fashion. And then you decide not to. Boom. There it is. Alright, all of you are assigned to that. Cancelling this. Then this is in fact going to be a front line from one end of Russia to say there. And your objective is going to be Cut this off. Oh no, they just got in again. Attention. You drive there. Écoutez. You drive there. Pareil. Need you to get here as quickly as possible to stop them reinforcing constantly. Because a whole bunch of people are going to escape otherwise. And he's wounded again. See all these troops trying to get through. Come on. There we go. Now we're stopping them. Now we can start pushing east. And if I can get a cutoff here, that would be great. Um, you guys have got this cutoff done. Excellent. So these are just little pockets. I think we're going to get Tassany responsible for this. 
Your job is going to be to push to here. I know you're wounded. Quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. You guys go and attack this. Go. Not you. You. And we have factories. What do we want? Uh, good grief. I think probably more mechanized, seeing how low we were last time. We're still 4,000 short. Definitely more mechanized, otherwise we're going to have our people walking. Okay, now you guys are doing a bit better. Although I'm sure that there were more than six of you. What keeps happening here? Germany has now lost 17.2 million. 18.7, they're only slightly behind the Soviet Union. And that's a rate of loss that Germany cannot afford. They've gone into scraping the barrel. Ticking time bomb for the Germans at this point. You know what to call? I would like your attack to come from the south, please. And it does not need to be quite so far north. Let's have you attacking straight across there. Perfection. Oh, I think I know what's happened. It's the Japanese fleet must have been spending like the entire game repairing and they've just launched them again. Or something like that. Uh, paratroopers, in case we go off to Japan. Sure. Once I've taken this slot, I'll be a heck of a lot happier. Which you will do very soon. Because they still have Rostov for supplies. And Kasnodar. It's just not going to be a lot of supplies. And then once we've cut this off, then this entire pocket is done. Not to mention these pockets. There we go. Looks like the Soviets or somebody defending this. Right, I can't see the Soviet forces anymore because we don't have the attaché. Oh, you know. Um, you know what? Halt you. Let's get you into your positions. And let's also have you get a huge amount of planning very quickly. Because as we get more and more infrastructure down here, we're sending in more and more tanks. I want you to get as much planning prep ready as possible, and then we can just keep pushing east. Um, I'm actually running out of things to research at this point. Did we actually finish this off? Yeah, we did. Better naval invasions. Let's do that. Just in case. Oh, crikey. The invasion of Germany has begun. Oh, you better join them then, people. Come on. Let's have you in that force so I can keep you together. My turn. Look at all the green bubbles. The invasion of Germany has begun in earnest. 
I was hoping to crush this before. But I'm not sure that we're going to get the opportunity. Can you please actually, you know, take Istanbul? That would be nice. Attention. Your plans have been finished. Your organization is back up. Attack! Paris. How are you doing? You are just getting into position, so you... Whoops, no, not you. You stop your attack. And let them get into position. Do that real quick. Écoutez. Gardez vos rangs. Yeah, here we go. Striking across the uh, Russian step now. We should be able to just smash our way through this section. On a very wide front. Oh, fuel. Good point. We should probably buy some more in. Oh, the Soviets don't seem to have much spare. Buy what they have. Netherlands don't have any spare. The UK have quite a lot. And then the constitutionalists. Let's go up to about 40. Well, no, 73. 14 factories from you. Daily gain, 20,000. Current consumption, 24,000. Apparently my army is fairly fuel intensive. When they're all on the move. Uh, you may have already completed your objective, so let's say that Nuremberg is your new one. Which you're going to do from the south. Attention. And Trieste is your current objective. We're going to let somebody else deal with that. Yours is instead going to be Bavaria and Austria. Okay. German losses, 17.6 million. We should be doing damage to them so quickly that even though they're on Scraping the barrel, they're not just they're just not going to have the manpower available to do anything about it. And part of the reason the supply situation probably was improved is because we got Denmark, so we're getting supplies in through here. Yep, that's exactly what's happened. Hence, all of these tanks are now in action. Tassany, you ready? You could also do with a staff office plan, except you can't because your officer's wounded. Well, go ahead and attack anyway. Luxembourg is back. Marvellous! The question is, are they being uncapitulated? The Netherlands has been uncapitulated. Belgium has, so has Luxembourg. I don't seem to have an objective. Go take Frankfurt. Go. You don't have an objective. Well, your objective's obvious. Berlin. No, come on, stop being wounded. It's irritating. Looks like we've got this southern front in order at last. Still haven't taken Istanbul for reasons. All right, Tassany is now getting a little bit of success. German forces have actually grown in strength again, but I, I don't think that's going to last. Oh, don't let the Americans get to Berlin first. Come on, tanks. Yeah, I think they might. 
Oh, especially because these won't be very quick. <laughs> Three kilometers per hour. No, they are definitely not very quick. He declared, take me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. Yes, de Gaulle is very much a lead from the front of a tank with a sword type of general. I'll have another 5% soft attack for all of my rocket units. Thank you very much. Um, excuse me. Why are you attacking Berlin but not from next to Berlin? Uh, the Americans are going to make it to Berlin first. Damn it! Oh, nope, they got some troops in. Nope. Um, don't help them. Let's see if the Germans can bring in some more reinforcements to Berlin. No, it looks like they're going to actually do this. Because I think these units are already most of the way on the way in. The Germans going to try and hold Berlin with everything they've got, even across the river. Berlin being defended by cavalry, sad times. It kind of is, yeah. Alright, we'll help. Fortunately, we're not going to get it. Well, the Soviets are back up to 50%. 18.9 losses. Germany is going to overtake them soon. There it is. It's fallen. Germany just dropped a ton. Whoa, yeah, they did. They've now lost 45 million to the 33 on our side. That's quite a lot. Is Turkey actually going to outlast Germany here? It kind of looks like they might. Don't have any current new orders, so let's just say that. In fact, I suspect a whole bunch of our units don't have orders. Yep, you don't. You don't even have a front line right now. Uh, no, the Dutch are not the front line. The Germans are. Vienna's the new German capital. Ooh, that's got to hurt Prussian heart. Um, we are getting a lot of factories. I can't really be bothered to reassign them right now. You guys are getting quite a lot of experience now, which is nice. Hail, it's about time. Can you level up yet? You've got organizer. You still need another two levels before we can get logistics wizard, so no. You do have Desert Fox now, however. Which helps. Probably. Desert Fox from those famous, famous Russian deserts. 